Kevin Robinson now and on the radar. It's now you see it. Now you don't. Last time we talked to you, it was green. Now it's gone. It'll probably be back, right? Yeah, there will be a few spotty downpours this evening, but this is the way the rain's going to play out. I think over the course of the weekend, we've been saying it won't be a washout and there will be plenty of opportunities to get out there and enjoy some dry times at your favorite restaurant. Case in point, look at the radar now. It is pretty quiet considering that we had some showers on here, as Mike was just mentioning. Oh, about a half an hour ago, there are still a few spotty areas of rain around, but just not a lot of happening on the radar at the moment. And I think this will be the trend through the evening. So you know what? Some of those restaurants undoubtedly will be packed. In fact, at the moment, there's nothing within the 275 loop. The nearest rainfall to greater Cincinnati up here in Warren County from Lebanon down 42 Reading Road almost to the community of Mason there. But even this very light. It's just a brief passing shower. Five, 10 minutes. There's a few more spotty showers out there across Dearborn County from near Lawrenceburg back towards Aurora. Obviously no thunder or lightning in any of this activity. Now the best chance or greatest likelihood of actually seeing heavy rain, maybe some storms this evening south of the Ohio River through parts of northern Kentucky. I've been saying the southern parts of northern Kentucky down here in Owen and Grant counties. You've had more sunshine today, so the atmosphere is a little more unstable. This is where you're most likely to find any stronger storms or really heavy rainfall. Now it's not going to be a completely dry night, but most of what you see should be light. I'd be surprised if you hear any thunder this far north along the Ohio River. So all in all, not a terribly bad Friday night. Now, in regards to planning the rest of your weekend, well, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on Saturday, let's go with fair. Because while there will be rain chances, it's going to be hit or miss, much like this evening around the area. And then on Sunday, you're good early with conditions deteriorating into the afternoon and evening as rain chances and even the threat for storms increases. So here's what's happening tonight. We've got a little front that's draping itself out along the Ohio River. Notice the greatest coverage of showers and storms in Northeast Ohio. For us, we've had clouds much of the day, which has really helped to keep the atmosphere pretty stable. So aside from some scattered pop up showers here and there, just not a lot happening outside. Here's the sun that Cherie was talking about. However, you do see darker skies there in the distance. 72 officially at the airport. It's muggy. Look at that dew point in the low 60s. Humidity close to 70%. So if you're doing some out, outside dining tonight, it will be on the warmer side all night. Most of us are generally in the 70s at the moment. Notice your middle to upper 70s down here in Kentucky, hence the reason why I think the best threat for storms. Futurecast also is identifying this area south and east away from the metro as the best chance for widespread shower and thunderstorm activity. And even this is overdone. So as we go through the evening, you see how quiet it is? Yeah, maybe a few passing showers, but nothing heavy or widespread. And then tomorrow morning, there could be some scattered showers around. And again, as you'll see here, it's hit or miss for the day on Saturday, some of you will miss it all together, but some of you will get hit. And when it does rain, it could come down heavy at times. It will fade away after dark tomorrow night. And then as we get into Sunday, it starts dry, but then we'll watch those storms in here or rain chances at least climbing throughout the day on Sunday. So cloudy and humid tonight is the main theme, along with it not being a washout. But be prepared for a brief shower if you encounter one only into the low 60s tomorrow. Mostly cloudy with scattered downpours 77 for a high. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. This is how it plays out. Sunday still the warmest day since we're dry early 80. We'll keep an eye on any of those stronger storms during the afternoon and evening and then just kind of a cloudy gloomy weather pattern takes hold for much of next week. That means clouds, the chance for some showers, especially the first half of the week and notice those temperatures while not as cold as they were to start this week. For example, it will be a little cooler next week. All right, better than 35 degrees.